Hi, uh, I'm Curtis from RCC Western, and today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the boots that you might see on our website. At RCC Western, we carry a variety of Western boots of various toes and heels and soles, and we're going to talk a little bit about each one of them. Um, starting here, we've got a nice uh, roper boot, um, rubber sole with a round toe. Many times, the round, round toes give your foot a lot of room to help, uh, help for fit. It's very comfortable. Uh, rubber soles that we have in our stores help to, basically if it's, if it's wintry outside, helps with that stick and that traction a little better than that leather. Um, some other boots we have, uh, we notice in a lot of square toes lately. Uh, these square toes offer, uh, besides uh, some fashion, they also offer uh, some extra room for your toes. If your foot's a little bit wide in the front, sometimes that helps a little bit. Or, uh, many of these boots have both leather and rubber soles, but on those leather soles, uh, very traditional uh, western fit which helps for riding. You also might see in, uh, in some of our boots, you'll see what we call a snip toe. A snip toe is kind of a fashion toe, it has a little snip across the top. Um, sometimes in these pointier boots you'll see and notice that they come to a little bit pointier and so that can affect the fit in the front of the boot. Not quite as much room as a square toe in there, but uh, that can be adjusted. Sometimes up a half a size or depending on your foot a little bit, so a uh, very nice traditional boot there. You'll also see um, some boots about in the middle, uh, leather sole here on this, uh, this boot. A kind of a medium square toe. Uh, it's kind of in the middle of our round toe and our square toe. But a single stitch there, a uh, nice little boot as well. Um, so there's a variety of fashion styles to choose from when choosing a western boot. Nice. And also we uh, have a lot of very traditional western boots as well. Uh, traditional round toe with a traditional western heel leather sole. Uh, excellent traditional styling and, and durability for the, for the western cowboy. On western boots you'll also notice a variety of different stitches on the toes of the boot. We call this a welt. A welt is the stitching that holds the boot together. You'll notice on each boot a different type. Uh, single, uh, we call this a single stitch, meaning one row stitching. And then you call this a double stitch. With the stitching on the welt, it's just a way for the boot manufacturer to have different types of boots and different looks for your foot. Uh, whether it's a single stitch or a double stitch, really won't make a difference for the performance of the boot, but you might want to think about the width of your foot in the stirrup if you're riding. That's very important to look at, especially with these double stitch boots, um, when you're looking at the width of your foot in the stirrup there. And many times the, the welds in the boot is just a way uh, to show uh, some fashion and a little bit of excitement for the boot that you have. Western boot fit is extremely important. When trying on a western boot, it's important to look at several major areas of boot fit. Now we're going to show an example here of how to fit a western boot properly. You should try that on there. And that's a nice traditional western boot. Did you notice as he pulls the boot through his foot there, you'll hear a plop sound as it, as it pulls through the throat. Sometimes it takes a little bit of extra effort to pull it on, and as it goes through, you'll hear a, a sound there that'll plop in. That's a sign of a good boot fit. Um, a western boot, once you stand up there, a western boot should fit nice and snug across the instep of the boot right here, and your toes should not be crowded, they should not be pinched in that boot. If they are pinched, then you've got the wrong size boot. Also, with many traditional leather sole boots like this boot as you walk, once you walk, take a couple of steps there. When you're first walking with a western leather sole boot, many times your heel will slip in the back. That's okay, that's uh, a natural thing. We call, it, uh, we call it boot fit, the perfect fit may slip a bit sometimes, it's kind of a western saying that we use. The leather sole in the boot is still stiff as the heat from your foot and over time it flexes, it'll soften up and they'll conform to your foot. Only a small amount of slippage is important, maybe uh, probably less than half an inch or three eighths of an inch. You don't want very much, but a little bit of slip in the back of the heel with a leather sole boot is very important to Western. Hi, uh, I'm Curtis from RCC Western and today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the boots that you might see on our website. At RCC Western, we carry a variety of Western boots of various toes and heels and soles. And we're going to talk a little bit about each one of them. Um, starting here, we've got a nice uh, roper boot, um, rubber sole with a round toe. 